Hello everyone and welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Alright, before I go into the level, I have a little bit of a story to tell and I'll get more into it later. But the quick story is that, um, as you can see, I have two more golden spatulas than I did last time. The reason is, long story short, I had to start a new save file and decided to override an old save file I had because it was close enough and that save file had bought two more golden spatulas from Mr. Krabs than I had in the video. And it also had less socks than uh, I had. But um, other than that, it'll be about the same. So Patrick, I've got no golden spatulas from him now and I've gotten four golden spatulas from Mr. Krabs now. But uh, oh well, it's not that big of a deal. Um, that just means I have more socks to go get at the end of the game. But for now, let's go right into Goo Lagoon, and then I'll, once we get in here, I'll tell you exactly why I had to start over like I did. Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon. A sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. Alright. So, the reason I had to start over was because... Um, actually, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, okay, that's, I'll introduce that in a second. I know there's going to be another cutscene up here, so I don't want to get into a story. What that's saying is basically, head bonk this thing, and it moves the platforms. Huzzah! Nothing too big, nothing too revolutionary. It's just kind of a thing. Anyway, new enemy. That guy has an annoying laugh. So monsoons. Here we go. You, Of course it should be obvious that monsoons create storms. And you would kill them by doing that. Uh, more cutscenes coming up. Further delaying my story. Ugh. SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles. That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. Well then, SpongeBob's in quite a predicament. Oh well, there is ways to get over there. Just the long way. Anyway, now I finally have some time. Oh yeah, you can switch to Patrick. We'll probably do that in a second. But, um, uh, what happened was, so, my girlfriend, I, I, I haven't mentioned her, I have a girlfriend, of course, but, uh, she, uh, darn it, she had, she just recently got access to being able to play the PlayStation 2, and she had never played the game, uh, Kingdom Hearts before. So I decided I would lend her Kingdom Hearts. But since she just got the PlayStation 2 from like a family member, that family member didn't have a memory card to go with it. So I don't know why I came over it. But anyway, so I also lent her the memory card. But it was my little sister's memory card. So I decided, you know, I don't play a whole lot of PlayStation 2 games right now. And the ones I do, I'll probably want to restart later. Um, so I'll just... I'll move all my stuff, all her stuff over onto my memory card, and then it'll make it even so she can play too. 
Anyway, so I did that to make it even, and what I didn't realize is moving my little sister's SpongeBob save file over made it overwrite my save file. So yeah, I had to start over uh, from her save file, which she kindly let me use, and yeah, that's where I am. But I was able to get everything back. Anyway, I love reflecting light puzzles. I love this level. I know I mentioned it earlier, but I'm pre I will go on a limb to say this is probably my favorite level in the game. It's really good. Um, I always love light reflecting puzzles like this. I, I don't know why. I think it was because when I was little, I played this one game on like Dexter's like it was. Cartoon Network's Dexter's Laboratory game, and it lets you, uh, um, it lets you move around these, uh, like lasers, and you had to do it with mirrors, and I, I, this is one mechanic that's okay, I guess, but I like hitting these buttons and guessing which one's the right one, but so apparently over here is a complete dead end. Um, I hate when they don't use all the mirrors. I will say that's kind of a pet peeve of mine when they don't use all the mirrors. Also, like manually turning them better than like hitting buttons and hoping it goes to the right place. But eh, I guess this will work. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I love the fact that you can spin these umbrellas here. I think they actually give you shiny objects. Um, I could have I could have gotten another golden spatula from Mr. Krabs and one from Patrick, but I decided that would be best suited for after a level rather than before. So yeah, hope you don't mind too incredibly much, people. Also, uh, Patrick is the one that's going to be doing a lot of the scaling on top of the place. Um, I'll be. Sp uh, this is also one where you switch back and forth between them a lot, which I think is really cool. Another reason why I love this level so much. Okay, now that we've got that set up, though, we won't be able to do anything with it until the end of this area. It's one of the last th I think it is the last thing we will do. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here real quick, and we're going to go switch to Patrick and do his stuff up on the top area. Uh, I seem to remember this level being long. Normally it takes me about two episodes to beat a level. This might start with, this might be the start of me taking three levels to do one. I'm not positive though, so don't quote me on it. I just feel like this one's going to be a lot longer for some reason. Um, feather bomb. So hit this. Come over here, and it's just a simple throw watermelons at switches and then platform over. Oh my gosh, magic carpets! Yay, magic carpets! I just remembered a whole section of this level I forgot about for right now. That's cool. All right, little platforming section, very similar to a Mario game. Then I believe you'll have me going over here. I don't, I don't like. Uh, platforming with Patrick quite as much because he doesn't have the bubble one thing. Um, but oh well. And the thing, another thing, uh, as you remember from the series, Patrick also cannot swim. The only person that can swim, to my knowledge, is Sandy. But I fell. Well, darn it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back up here. Uh, as I was saying, Spongebob and Patrick, neither of them can swim. The only one that I know of that can swim is Sandy, but don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure she's actually not playable in any levels with water in them. Now, that was, of course, an optional thing to do right now, because, you know, I'm not going to be getting all of Patrick's socks now, but it'll save me time in the long run. And I believe you want to switch back to Spongebob for doing this next section. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. I, I prefer doing things the first time around as opposed to coming back to them. So that's why I went ahead and did that. I don't know if you're supposed to go that way. Oh, no, you're not. You're supposed to go on over there. Oh, well, this way is an option. Uh, before we do all this, I'm going to go talk to Mrs. Puff over here. Oh, no. 
The children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. All right, then. So, just bonk up on the balloons. I, pr I, I prefer calling it a bonk as opposed to a bubble bash. I don't know why. You know, because head bonks, you know, kind of the thing. Like, this is a ground pound right here. I love that pun. I don't think he needs a hand. That's the tee -hee. Um, I love puns. We all remember this. You know, that's a fact about Darren that should never, ever be forgotten. A way to get on my good side. You're stuck up here for the rest of your life. I, ho I hope you're happy with that. You look happy. Anyway, a way to get on Darren's good side is to make very, very clever puns. But they have to be clever. If they're not clever, I won't accept them. Not one bit. Hmm. Wait over here. Oh crap, these one sink. Let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and get up here. Destroy these two guys, or there'll be an annoyance. Oh well. Um, now let's plan out what I want to do. So, little Broham is coming back over here, and if I hurry, then maybe, just maybe, that's a no go. Keep jumping and pod them. What? What? Like really? Just what? Just a little. No. Little Broham's getting on my nerves. Let's just wait over here again. Okay. Just be patient. Patience is the key. Popping balloon. Just. just uh, Okay, so jumping like that doesn't work as effectively as I want it to. I think it does help a little bit. So, keep that in mind. Anyway, come over here. Throw all these things. And there's another sock right over here. Once again, optional, but why not get it? You're already here. Now, this, this time, Mrs. Puff, unlike last time, all the things she needs to collect, she needs for you to collect, are in one distinct area. Now, you can switch over back to Pat, you can switch to Patrick back over here, and that's to continue on the area, but we don't need to do that right now. We need to get going and free more children. Yes. Kill the thing, go to the murder. Oh, gosh, this is actually difficult. Oh my gosh, this is quite difficult. Get, uh, get out. Do you see this? He's over top of the water. You can't. Oh my gosh, there we go. Oh my. Mm, that was freaky. I don't like him. He's no longer my friend. I will murder him. Like I did. I should probably not expect robots to be my friend. But you know, sometimes I just feel like they're nicer than people give them credit for. And then I die. You know, because they're robots, and they're out to kill me. Okay, there we go. Okay, now you're going to drown. I hope you're happy. I am. I don't mind murdering children. I do mind murdering children. Murdering children is bad. They're bad. That's bad, kids. Like drugs. Mm hmm all right, so come on, my computer's falling asleep. Don't fall asleep, computer. That is the last thing I need you to do right now. All right, now come over here, and we'll get. You know what? It's not that far. I'm just gonna not cut it because I don't like cutting. All right, come on. There we go. Now we'll go back and talk to Mrs. Pa. Pa. I probably should have just got this kid. That's what they were intending you to do, I'm guessing. Is to get that kid and then go talk to Mrs. And then come this way and then to get this kid. Because it would leave in a, lead in a nice circle to Mrs. Puff. And apparently that kid can swim. SpongeBob should be embarrassed. He really should. And now we'll go talk to Mrs. Puff. My hero! You saved the children! <laughs> 
Here's a golden spatula as a reward. Yay, golden spatula. Yay. So, random subject. Recently, I went to go see Monsters University out on a date. And, you know, I went in expecting, you know, not a whole lot. You know, I was expecting to not really have high hopes for that movie, mainly because Pixar has been doing Cars 2 lately, which is a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Should never have been done. But, uh, besides that, um, I, so I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but instead, I actually got something that surprised me. A movie that I really, really enjoyed. I mean, it was a good movie, and if you're thinking, oh, well, you know, I don't, it won't be good, you know, because Pixar's been doing Cars 2, and they don't need to be doing sequels, and blah, 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 don't think that. Do not think that at all. It's a great movie. Um, it wasn't as good as the original, no. But it had a lot of uh, a lot of good moments, a lot of well-written humor, and it tied the two films together quite nicely. Explained a lot, and it did better than most movies do that nowadays. I was very entertained and wouldn't mind watching it again. Also, another thing I was surprised that I watched and found I actually enjoyed was the TV series Teen Titans Go. Now, I've heard a few people talk about the, how it's not a good game, how it's not a good show because it's completely different than what Teen Titans was. But if you give it a chance, that is exactly why it is a good show because it's completely different to how Teen Titans is. They went, they did their own thing with it and they did a good job they make me laugh it's basically go into it thinking I'm not going to watch this epic journey and adventure that Teen Titans gave me I'm going to watch what the Titans do on their day off what do they do when they're bored when villains aren't attacking Tokyo or when they aren't going to destroy the village what do they do and you'll enjoy the movie I really think you will. Not movie. It's not a movie. It's a TV show. Uh, what time is it? Oh, we are coming up close to time. Um, we'll get... Wow, we're coming up close to time really fast. We... It doesn't look like we've done a lot, but hey, we've gotten two golden spatulas, and we've made quite a bit of progress in the level. So, let's, uh, let's get over here and talk to Bubble Buddy, and we'll see what... And we'll end it off there after we talk to him. Maybe. Well, first off, I'm going to murder this guy. Why? Because it sounds fun. Okay. So, thank you. What you need to do here is you need to hit the... Huh. Oh, yeah. Like a boss. Like a boss. And then you can come over here and get this sock. That one was very difficult for me when I was little. I don't know why. And anyway, hit the Thunder Tiki and destroy all those stone guys and get so many stuff. Talk to Bubba Buddy. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubba Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sand castle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. That was a humorous scene. <laughs> no, what I remember now is I, oh wait, no, I remember. I remember trying to go up to him and talking to him as Patrick, and all he said was like, oh, hi, Patrick. Oh, hi, hi, Bubba Buddy, <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. It was very, very pointless. But anyway, this starts a whole big to-do thing, and we'll do that next time. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.